Hey, hey, it's Chrissy K. Rollins here bringing you this week's energy update along with a few insights on how to simplify your life for 2020. We are wrapping up the year here, just a couple weeks away from the end of the year, and I am having uh, ongoing conversations about how to simplify balance and allow yourself to receive in the new year. So today I'm focused on sharing with you some insights to help you to identify if you need to simplify. For example, if you are easily overwhelmed or distracted or both, that's a great sign that you need to simplify. If you feel like you don't have enough, especially enough time, enough resources that you in general are not enough to um, have and live into and do what it is that you want to do, that's a really good sign that you need to simplify your life. And if you feel like you're constantly fighting battles or running around and putting out fires, that's a key sign that it is time to simplify your life going into 2020. So if you've experienced any of these throughout 2019, then stay tuned. Join me right now for uh, to find out more about what's happening in the cosmos that will be affecting you over this next week. And then hop over to the Conscious uh, success community here on Facebook, or if you're watching on YouTube, hop over to Facebook and check out the conscious success community. I'll drop a link in the comments below so you can find it with ease, um, where I'll go into a more in-depth reveal. So let's first talk about what is, uh, the signs of overwhelm and we'll ease into and, and wrap into it. What is on deck energetically happening right now? So we can just keep it all together, right? Keep it simple. I'm all about simplifying, doing one move, hitting multiple targets and allowing myself to, um, make more of an impact with putting less effort out there into the world. So, okay. So if you're overwhelmed, if you're easily distracted, this often looks like just being unsure about what's best to do. So you end up running around in circles, hoping for something to change and you end up exerting more energy than what is necessary. And in the end, you just find yourself exhausted and stuck in cycles. You often fall into a uh, fall victim to that shiny object syndrome and get yourself veered off course when you don't feel like following through on what it is that you initially had planned. So if you are feeling any of those things, simplifying your life and, and breaking it down to simple systems so that you can streamline your focus and have a game plan of proactive support in place to keep you on track and not just keep you on track because you know we're, we're humans we're not made to be stagnant it's inevitable that you're gonna start to veer off track even if I mean think about it this way if you drive down the road and you just hold the steering wheel straight you're going to eventually go off track. You constantly have to be making minor adjustments and you need to know where to keep it between the lines. So having a plan and a system in place that helps to support yourself, not only for keeping you between those lines, but how to veer yourself and to know where those lines are so you know when you are in your lane or not, I, I have just found it to be absolutely key in uh, living a more fulfilling and more at ease, relaxed life. So if you're finding yourself overwhelmed and distracted, knowing that having that plan in place, what is a proactive support plan that you can have in place? What are those clear definitions that you can go back to to get yourself back on track that will help you to simplify the overwhelm and the distractions in 2020? Now, this feeling of not enough, this can look like not having enough time, not having enough energy, not having enough money, not having enough resources, or just not being enough. Like you feel like you're not enough. No matter, um, like no matter uh, what progress it is that you make, it's still not enough. You look at your bank account, it's not enough. You look at that reflection in the mirror or maybe that number on the scale and it's not enough. It's not where you want it to be at. Or you see the changes that are happening or that number change on the scale, but it's still not enough. You're looking at 2020 and you're looking at your 2019 goals right now and you're not enough. You didn't reach them. You don't have enough. There's not enough there to get where it is that you want to go. If you've been feeling that strong feeling of not enoughness, everything feels like beyond your reach, like it's for others and just not for you. That's a real key sign that you need to simplify. Learn where to cut away what you aren't supposed to be doing so you can give yourself permission to be exactly where you're at and start to learn how to maximize the strengths that you bring to the table in your own unique expression. But that doesn't happen when you're in this place of constantly reaching outside yourself, constantly looking outside yourself and thinking that you don't have enough where you're at right now today. I assure you, you might not have everything that you want, 
but you have everything that you need. And I assure you, it may not look like you have enough or that you are enough or that you're doing enough or that you know enough. I assure you, you do. We actually end up running into more problems because we have too much. We know too much and we don't have a way to simplify all that we have within us and around us so that it is not overwhelming so that you can maximize what you got so that you can get more with less efforts and with that whole um imbalance can also bring about this feeling that I already mentioned of the constantly fighting battles, constantly putting out fight fires. You find yourself in this reactive loop, doing the best that you can while uh, just to keep calm, while life is just like throwing one thing after the another, unexpected stuff keeps slapping you in the face. As soon as you get one fire put out, another one pops up. As soon as you start to get ahead, all of a sudden something starts to crumble down. And as soon as you start to feel settled inside, you find yourself in an argument with someone else. Maybe it's even a loved one. And maybe you don't even know how or why <laughs> this keeps happening. It just keeps happening. If this is your experience, this is again a sign that you need to simplify. Get a simple understanding, a simple expanded understanding of who you are and this other person is and what is happening around you so that it can stop looking like this constant popping up of one thing going wrong after another and you can start to realize what each of these things is really inviting you into that is offering to you so you can move out of the surface level experience and you can start to have a deeper richer experience that allows you not only not only to maintain your footing and be calm and confident and assured no matter what pops up unexpectedly, but it will also begin to pave the way to stop what it is that is happening internally that you're not even aware of that's causing you to have this experience no matter how life looks. So it will actually help you to shift the tables. When you can simplify in this way, you can shift your experience all together and you can stop having this big unknown, uh, just having to deal with whatever gets thrown your way. So again, if you have experienced any of this in 2019, then it's a clear sign um, that simplifying in 2020 should be or just consider making that one of your top priorities when you can simplify and you can uh, simplify your path quite frankly is what we're talking about um, when you can simplify your path when you can simplify your journey you stop getting distracted when you simplify what is happening within you and you simplify it down to just a clue as to what is happening energetically around you you stop feeling overwhelmed. Like right now, for instance, let's talk about what's happening energetically right now because you know this is my energy update. So what's going on in the cosmos right now? Right now, for instance, at the time of this recording, we're approaching the winter solstice. That's gonna be happening over the weekend. I think it's happening technically uh, the 22nd here in this Eastern time zone that I am uh, living in right now. So understanding what the winter solstice means energetically, it can allow you to simplify your choices on how you move forward. And it will allow you to move forward in a more relaxed and aligned and empowered way. So understanding that right now, what is happening energetically with the winter solstice, the winter solstice, it is a time, well, whenever we talk about like uh, what we experience externally on the physical level, it is the day where we have the shortest daylight and the most darkness within 24 hour period. So what does that mean energetically? Energetically, it is the time that is ripe for planting the seed of desire that you want to spring up in 2020, when the time is ripe for growth. A lot of people try to grow right now. And if you don't simplify your journey to understand that right now isn't a growing season, right now is a time to reflect, a time to restore, and a time to plant in the darkness that which you desire. It, it also explains as to why things feel really heavy right now, because your internal clock, your internal being is aligned with this darkness, not to suffocate you and bury you, but to plant the intention to bury deep amongst the energetic soils, that which you desire to bring to fruition in the um, growth of spring. So now is the time to be reflecting. 
to be uh, feeling all the feels and deciding which things you want to carry forward into your growth experience in 2020 and what things no longer serve you that you can let go of, that you can leave behind. So when we don't know that that's what's happening, we just feel all this heaviness come on. We feel like we're the ones that are getting buried. But in truth, it is just a symbolic, energetic feeling reminding you that now is the time to get in touch with your deepest desires. Now is the time not to be afraid of the dark, but to embrace the dark because it's in the darkness that that seed begins to cultivate. We don't set a seed out in the middle of the sun and pour a bunch of water on it and have it take flight, take growth. That's not how it happens. What happens is that it gets buried deep. It's compounded. It's almost forgotten about. You can't even see it. And for months or weeks, depending on how long it takes to germinate, however long it takes, sometimes years, depending on what you're growing, over time, that growth begins to happen in the darkness underneath the soil. And all that happens before it even breaks the surface. That's why you have to simplify how you see life so that it's not just this big unknown mystery that you're just looking at the outside and left in limited amount of choices as to how to respond, react, and move forward. So right now, over these next few days, you're going to feel this heaviness that's been coming on. You're going to feel it start to lift, especially over the weekend. We're going to shift into the new moon. We're going to have this upswing of energy. We're going to have the winter solstice. We're going to have that tipping of the daylight. It's all going to start to tip over. So if you've been feeling the darkness, the heaviness, feeling like you're being buried, just know that it's for a reason. But when you can expand your story, when you can deepen your understanding about yourself and others and the world as a whole, you begin to realize that you are more than enough already. You are that seed. And that seed doesn't come with a list of instructions that's got to be buried with it or that it's got to go outsource in order to get to have. No, that the instructions are innate. It is part of the seed. You have the instructions inside of you. You are enough already. You just need the right conditions to activate, to signal it's time for you to grow. And you can grow with more ease. You can grow with more consistency. And you can grow with less effort. Life is enough, you are enough, you have enough, and knowing this allows you to relax into this knowingness and begin to navigate life from a simple perspective that will simplify so many areas of lack of and overwhelm in your life, and it will also lead you to a greater level of discernment so that you can pick even fewer battles and experience even more confidence no matter what unexpected fires pop up in your life. And I got to tell you, this approach, it also skyrockets, quantum leaps the spiritual and conscious growth of others around you. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. And knowing how and where to simplify in your life and knowing how to how and where to simplify in my life, it's a total game changer, complete and total game changer. And it's precisely why I was guided to include it as a focus for the first phase of holistic restoration in 2020's holistic healing circle. If you haven't heard about it yet, go over to holisticrestoration.com. There's a button on the front page. You can click 2020 holistic healing circle and you can find out all the details. But for the first four months, we are going to be spending our time focused on expanding and deepening your perspective of yourself, of others, and this world around you so that you can simplify your experience to one that is streamlined and allows you to maximize your flow and be able to identify with ease where to shift so that you can get out of frustration and back into ease. This this uh, healing circle is for those that are ready to set down all the doings and reaching outward and are just ready to continue to integrate what it is that they already know, expand and deepen and ground themselves and uh, get yourself a more sure footing for the years to come ahead. So for the first full phase, it is all focused on simplifying. The second phase, we focus on balancing. And the last phase, we focus on receiving. So it's ongoing, continued conversation that builds on step after step, totally aligned with the energy month after month, and will have you supported in exactly where it is that you're going to be focused, exactly where it is that you need to bring in that support and help you to find your own balance, eliminate your own distractions, and find your own footing so that you can relax into it and receive and use it in 2020 and beyond. So if you're ready to stop chasing and you're ready to allow 2020 to be your year where you start receiving and you're ready to stop all the doing more and start receiving 
more with less effort and less energy drains. If you're ready to simplify, balance, and align your life, and you're ready to just let an easier way in, then I invite you to hop over to holisticrestoration.com, um, click the 2020 Holistic Healing Circle button. I'll drop a, a link in the comments below too, so it's super easy for you to find. And let's um, let's do this, because you're gonna be able to find all the details, you'll be able to secure your spot there, and let's do this. If you're watching this, and you go, and you sign off, you look at it, you say, this is for me, this is exactly what I'm looking for, I'm tired of all the distractions, I'm tired of not knowing who, what information to follow and what course is best for me and which direction to go and you're ready to tap into your own internal guidance and learn how to navigate your life in a more relaxed and fulfilling way if you know that for certainty whenever you look and you get your spot by midnight tomorrow so we'll say midnight uh eastern standard time on thursday december the 19th you'll receive a free membership upgrade as a gift just for acting quickly because you know that it's the right thing for you. And what I'll do is you just sign up for whatever membership tier level, I will automatically upgrade you so you'll get the next level of support for the same membership pricing. And I think that I have said enough about that because if you're interested, you'll hop over there and you'll find it out. And if not, let's get on to what card came forward for today's reading. So I pulled this card right before I hit the live button um, just to save us a little bit of time. And I love it because it is card number one. Card number one, beauty. I love card number one because it always speaks to new beginnings. And here we are talking about new beginnings and how you can have new beginnings moving forward in your life in a more simplified and aligned, balanced way. And the beauty card comes with a message that says, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. And what I love about this is that this card doesn't just speak to the, the superficial layers of, of beauty, like just looking over and seeing beauty. Hey, Mural, I was just getting ready to check to see if anybody was here live. <coughs> Welcome. Excuse me. So the beauty card doesn't just speak to beauty on a superficial level. It is speaking to the depths of the beauty that you have within yourself. It is an invitation to take a look at, actually to clarify, to simplify, and to give acknowledgement to the beauty that you hold within yourself and to create different rituals, different ways to recognize and to hold sacred all that makes you beautiful. Because getting in touch with that inner beauty, that unique beauty, that individualistic beauty that only you have, that only is inside of you, that only you have access to, and only you can bring out into this world, it is a key part of what to pay attention to as far as knowing what steps to take in your life. So the more that you take time to connect to the beauty that you find within yourself, the more strong, the more stable all new beginnings are going to be for your life because no matter what comes down the road, you will always know where to pull from your own internal strength and how to use what you have within to navigate this world around you. So take that back into your life. Take a consideration as to what beauty you hold within that you can bring more consistently out into the world. And if you want a more in-depth Oracle reveal, then I invite you to hop over to the Conscious Success Community right here on Facebook. Um, I'll drop a link in the comments below where you can uh, check out the three card spread that I put into there. And uh, I wanna know, what are your best tips for simplifying? What areas of your life would you love to simplify? And how is it that you create more simplicity in your life? If you have any questions about the Holistic Healing Circle, you can drop them in the comments below or feel free to PM me and I'll be happy to get those answered for you. And uh, I think on Saturday, I'm gonna do the next video on how to have more balance in 2020, how to be able to identify when you're out of balance and how to bring more balance into your life. So catch me back on, um, on here for that and I will see you next time. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.